Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how to make your own custom scupper plugs for your kayak. That being said, let's go ahead and get started. These are the main parts I'll be using in this project. First I have this pack of eight tubing caps with an outer diameter of one and a half inches and this is what they look like when they're out of the pack. They have these flexible fins on the side that helps it fit into the scupper hole. Then I'll also be using these one quarter inch by one inch diameter stainless steel fender washers and then 10 inch sections of one eighth inch diameter paracord and then some marine goop. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take a heat gun and heat up these little fins to make them more flexible so they will form inside the scupper hole. Now you got to be careful because you don't want to melt this uh, because then it's going to stick to your scuppers. So what you're going to do is just heat it up and you're going to see these fins start to get shiny. That means they're going to be more pliable and then you just go ahead and press fit it into your scupper hole and let it cool down in there and it will form to the scupper hole and it doesn't get hot enough to where it's going to cause any damage to the kayak if you do it right all right so the scupper plugs I'm going to make are for a bona fide RS-117 now these aren't really uniform the way they're made. They have kind of like a, a sharp little lip that's uneven. And then also, it has another little section here that's just a little bit less than a half an inch, which is flat. And then it opens up for the scupper tube. Now, not all scuppers are made this way. Some of them just like flute straight all the way through. So this is a little bit different, but you should be able to use this method for whatever scupper holes you have on your kayak. Okay, so I got my heat gun and I got my little plug here and it doesn't take very long. I don't know if it's going to show up very well and you want to rotate it. And remember, you don't want it to get to where it melts. You just want to heat it up so it will form. And you can probably see here it is a little bit shiny and so now I'm going to go ahead and press fit it in to the kayak. Okay, so I heated it up just right and I pressed it in here. I'm going to let it cool off a little bit and then I will pull it out once it's formed to the inside of the scupper hole. Okay, so this is it formed. You can see how it did it and then there's that center. You can see that five in there. I'm going to drill that out with an 1164 drill bit because I use the 1 8 inch diameter paracord. Now I'm going to assemble this and I have the plug with the hole drilled through the center and then I've got my fender washer here which I will put a thin layer of marine goop on and then drop it into the cap like that making sure to line up the centers and then what I'm going to do is thread these two ends of the paracord through the cap and washer and then tie a knot on the end All right, everything's been assembled you can see the fender washer inside and then I also made a loop with the paracord and threaded both ends through both the cap and the washer and then tied a knot in the end and then I will cinch the ends with a lighter just to make sure the knot doesn't come loose and then what I'm also going to do is take some marine goop and put a layer on the back side of this knot so when you pull the knot down the center that goop will fill any holes that might be in the 
cap or the fender washer and then it also gets everything in there nice and tight and once it dries it won't move. So this is your finished scupper plug. You have your paracord loop, you have your plug here that's been heat formed, and then you've got the stainless steel washer inside here with the knot on the other side of the paracord, and then everything is held together and sealed with marine goop. So that's it. If you have any questions, please leave them for me in the comments. Thank you.